What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. My name is Jeff and on today's show we're going to take an in-depth look at the difference between concrete sealers and coatings and which one you should never use outside so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So whether you've been pouring concrete your entire life or if you've never even seen a concrete truck before, I mean, you probably all know that most concrete needs to be sealed. But is that the same thing as a concrete coating? I mean, we all know that in this business, I mean, there are a lot of situations where people use different terms, but they actually mean the same thing in the end. So what is the difference between concrete sealers and coatings? Well, I can tell you that there is a lot more to it than just some people calling it sealing and other people calling it a coating. So we're gonna go through each of them separately. I mean, concrete acrylic sealers and concrete coatings, I mean, they do both form a film on the surface of the concrete, but they really go their separate ways from there. So we're gonna get things started with acrylic sealers, and this is the stuff that we spray on exterior concrete every day. I mean, for stamp concrete, broom, smooth finish, or I mean, pretty much any other bare slab of concrete, acrylic sealer is just the go-to option for a lot of contractors. I mean, penetrating sealer might be a better option when it comes to broom concrete driveways and interior floors, and in most situations, it'd probably be better off with a concrete coating. But acrylic sealer is inexpensive, easy to use and it requires a lot less time and tools to install uh, than coatings do. So it might not be the very best option for every situation, but it's the one that will work in pretty much all situations. So the acrylic resin that's in these sealers, I mean, it starts out as a solid substance. And then during the manufacturing process, it gets melted down into a liquid form. I mean, kind of like dissolving sugar into water. And what acrylic resin really wants to do is get back to that solid state and it'll do so all on its own without any kind of chemical reaction. I mean, it's really just sitting there waiting for someone to spray it on some concrete so that carrying agent can evaporate off and it can get back to its hardened state again. I mean, all it needs is to get out of that bucket and a little bit of airflow and it'll do the rest all on its own. Now, because of the chemical makeup of concrete sealers and its low viscosity, I mean, they're able to bond themselves right to the surface of a concrete slab without opening any of the pores up. Now, I mean, the more open the pores are, the better it will stick and it'll probably last a lot longer, but these sealers are definitely made to spray right on the concrete. So if concrete sealers and coatings both form a film, I mean, then why can we put sealer on exterior concrete, but coatings are generally an interior thing? Well, that film that gets left behind is just gonna be a lot less dense than that of a concrete coating. And I mean, if you're gonna look at these two different films under a microscope, you'd see that it's got little tiny air pockets in it, kind of like the concrete does. It's just that the acrylic is gonna have bigger air pockets and more of them than a coating would, and the acrylic sealer is gonna get spread out a lot thinner. Now, all this stuff is gonna help that sealer let moisture pass up through it and escape. Now, I mean, you can definitely make acrylic sealer uh, unbreathable really fast by just over applying it, but if used properly, it won't let that moisture pressure build in the slab to the point of damaging the sealer. Now, one last thing about acrylic sealers before we move on to coatings is that they will wear away over time. And at some point, they're just gonna need to be reapplied. Now, this is definitely a bit of a downside for acrylic sealers. I mean, to my knowledge, no one's figured out yet a way of making a sealer that is both breathable and permanent all at the same time. I mean, the film just needs to be a little bit softer in order to function, and that means it is gonna break down. Now, the good thing about this is that it can be melted again and it doesn't require any abrasion to recoat. Now, this means we can just clean the surface of the concrete really well and reapply sealer as needed. Now, don't get me wrong here. Resealing stamped concrete certainly is tricky business, but my point is that if you can melt the sealer, it can be recoated without any abrasion. So onto the concrete coatings, and this would be things like polyspartic, polyurethane, or epoxy. And I mean, these products, on the other hand, they don't start out as a solid. I mean, most cases, these are gonna actually be a byproduct of some other kind of manufacturing process, and they're, needed to, they're gonna need to go through a chemical reaction in order to harden. And most of these are gonna be two-part products, so you're gonna have to mix A and B together to start that reaction. I mean, even in the case of rock-hard urethane, which is a single component moisture cure urethane, I mean, there's no A or B to mix together, but it is still a two-part coating in the sense that it needs something to get things started. And in this case, that other thing is gonna be moisture. I mean, once you spread this stuff out, it is gonna instantly start looking for moisture in the air to harden itself, and this is kind of like the B. Now, this is still different than acrylic concrete sealer, 
though. I mean, if you were gonna put rock hard urethane in an environment that did have airflow, but zero moisture, I mean, it's just never gonna get hard. Now, when it comes to bonding uh, coatings to the concrete, I mean, things are gonna be different here as well as opposed to acrylic sealer. Now, the chemical makeup of epoxy versus polyspartic versus polyurethane, I mean, they are all different, but they have this one thing in common. They're all gonna create a lot denser film than acrylic, and they're gonna go on a lot thicker, some of them really thick. Now, remember those little microscopic air pockets we were talking about earlier? I mean, for concrete coatings, those air pockets are gonna just be a lot smaller and there's gonna be less of them compared to acrylic sealer. So what this does is it allows them to get closer together and that makes that coating really, really dense. Now, there are so many great things that a film like that can do for you, but there are some downsides. Now, one of them is that they're gonna require a profile or at very least really open pores to get down into and grab on. So unlike sealers, coatings need to go on concrete that's either been ground or shot blasted open. Otherwise, they just won't bond long-term. Now, another downside is that they are gonna be a lot less breathable than acrylic. Now, that dense film is just really not gonna let much uh, moisture pass up through it. So if moisture gets trapped or somehow finds its way under the slab, I mean, it's just gonna eventually end up building to the point of failure. And this is really one of the main reasons that manufacturers don't recommend these kind of products outdoors. I mean, the easiest way to put it is, if the concrete needs to breathe, coatings just aren't a good idea at all. Not to mention the fact that some of them aren't even UV stable anyways. So that really dense film that concrete coatings create, I mean, it does get incredibly hard and extremely durable to abrasions and chemicals. I mean, acrylic sealer wouldn't even stand a chance to holding up to the kind of abuse that concrete coatings can handle. Now, I'm not gonna say that they're always gonna look like they did the day they were installed, but these products won't just wear away over time like a curling. I mean, if installed properly, they can literally last a lifetime. Now, the downside to that really hard durable film is that it's gonna need to be abraded if you're ever gonna recoat it. I mean, you won't be able to just melt into it like you could on an acrylic sealer and some sort of sanding at the very least is gonna need to be done to get the coats to bond together. Now, the good thing is that concrete coatings really need to be recoated, but it's just something to consider before you decide to use one. So we're gonna finish up by recapping the main points here. Uh, so for acrylic sealers, the pros are they're inexpensive and easy to use. Uh, they will harden all on their own without adding anything to it. They can bond directly to the concrete. They are breathable and they can be recoated without abrasion. Now the cons uh, to concrete sealers would be uh, that they will wear away over time and they're gonna need to be recoated. Uh, they don't hold up very well to most chemicals. Uh, you can't put them on very thick. And for interior floors, I mean, it's just concrete sealer. It's not actual flooring. Now for the coatings, the pros would be that they won't just wear away over time and they rarely ever need to be recoated. The top coats get extremely durable and coatings are really a legit permanent flooring option. The cons would be they don't get hard on their own and they're gonna need to be mixed with a catalyst. Uh, they're going to need to have open pores or even a profile to grab onto, so you will have to grind the floor first. Uh, they are not breathable and they should be used interior only. And if you ever do need to recoat them, they're going to need some abrasion first. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. Uh, hopefully this uh, video was helpful to, for you guys to understand if a concrete sealer or a coating is going to be the right choice for your next decorative concrete project. I gotta say, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos, man. We just really appreciate all the support that you guys show to the channel every week by always tuning in and just hitting those couple little buttons down there, like and subscribe if you aren't already, hit the share button, share it on social media. Uh, please leave us a comment if we missed anything or if you guys have any questions on concrete sealers or coatings. Now, if you already are already subscribed, just don't forget about that little bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and it really does help our channel out. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.